getting a lot of puzzles in uh, this particular hall of the museum. The universe contains everything that exists. In addition to our Earth, the planets in our solar system, and the Sun, there are billions of stars that form galaxies, and billions of galaxies spread throughout trillions of miles! No one knows how large the universe is, but scientists know that it is expanding every day. Ooh, a giant TV screen. Okay, he tells us to ask uh, our robot buddy. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh, so we need to fix the uh, TV. Okay. Turn it on. Okay, now as you can see, we've got a picture of Earth and the Moon. You can see, take a good look at it. Now you hit activate. It's a maze uh, puzzle. Not a maze puzzle. It's a matching puzzle! And I believe it went something like this. Well, you can kind of see that we have a blue line. So we have a blue line that runs along the uh, border of this exhibit. So you can tell where all the edges are supposed to be. This one must be here. That one looks like it goes there. Alright. Looking good so far. And there, do I have all the edges correctly? Left hand side looks good, top hand side does not look good, top hand side now looks much better. Okay, and this goes here. Is that it? Oh, those two need to be switched. Alright, fix the Earth and the Moon. And what's next is the Solar System. The Solar System contains the nine planets. Well, eight planets now, but it was nine planets when this game came out. See, when I was your age, Pluto was a planet, everybody. Alright, so... Pretty much the exact same sort of trick. Fortunately, I know how the uh, planets go. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Mars has to be here. Now, Mars is... where is Mars? It must be this one because it's the red planet. Pluto... Wow. Oh no! There we go, is that it? I'm not sure if I did anything correctly right there in that section. Okay, let's just do my fancy trick of uh, trying to get all the borders in place. That's a trick everybody uses when they're uh, confronted with jigsaw puzzles, right? Upper left hand corner. Hold on a second. Now, bottom right-hand corner. Right-hand corner. I didn't mean to say upper left-hand corner. I meant right-hand corner. All right. Looks like the right-hand side is completely finished. Now let's do the bottom. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Okay, and now we just need to uh, get the sun right there in the middle which is where the sun belongs. Ah! That's where Mars belongs. And there we go! The solar system! Bring on the Milky Way galaxy! Alright, now we're part of the Milky Way galaxy. 
You can't even see the Earth from here. This is very, very large. Now here's the Milky Way. Get a good look at it, because... Now we have to get everything back where it's supposed to be. The Milky Way, and I believe this was somewhere around here. The purple thing, yeah, it was right there. Great. Bottom left hand corner, left hand side, left hand side. I can't tell if these need to be switched or not. Uh, I'm going to guess that's the uh, correct position for them. Let's just uh, mix up a couple of these here. And there we go! The Milky Way! What's next? Next is probably the uh, hardest one because... Because I uh, don't have any frame of reference. I mean, I know... Uh, what the Earth and the Moon look like, but I don't know what the galaxies beyond look like. So this is going to be an interesting challenge. And again, right now I'm going to start off by uh, just uh, getting the border in place. Looks like that looks good. Actually, looks like this might be uh, how that uh, particular side is supposed to be designed. Looks like the right hand side is good. Is the top good? No, the top is not good. There we go, the top is now in shape, so now we need to get everything else where it's supposed to go. And where is it supposed to go? That looks... that looks fine. Yes, good. There we go! Alright, so there we go. I think that is the end of this exhibit. Thousands of millions of families of galaxies are spread throughout the universe. Alright. And there we go. I have finally... Can I... Do I need to close this? I need to close it. Now I've finally finished the hall of, uh, whatever the name of the hall is. The Hall of Aircraft. Well, whatever you call it. We have finished with the uh, spacecraft and now the history of computers. Simple machines. Alright, this should be simple. Now this is kind of an odd exhibit. <laughs> the story behind this exhibit is that a kangaroo has gone wild. Look, the kangaroo is... <laughs> the kangaroo has gone wild. He destroys that machine, he destroys this machine, he destroys the next machine, and then he gets trapped. <laughs> so our goal is to put everything back the way it was. Great. Can we 
put this to the left of it. And we put the pole to the top of it. So that way when we hit it, BAM! It goes flying into the next room. Oh. Well, in any case, it goes flying into the next room, but it won't do anything in here until we fix this room. Do, do, do. 